Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Bear Views, back at you today with another one. And what I am looking at is a beer from Pretoria Fields Collective, which is a craft brewery out of Albany, Georgia. This is their Brown Thrasher Brown Ale. It clocks in at 5.4% alcohol by volume, 28 IBUs. Tom Vess over at Pretoria Fields Collective was kind enough to send me some beer mail so I could try some of their different beers. Uh, I had reviewed the Sky Water Golden Ale, and he wanted me to be able to try some of their other beers as well. We do get some of their beers, but um, not all of their beers. So I was able to get some that I've never seen before, and I'm very excited to try them. This is actually one that I've not seen before. So, looking forward to trying this. If you're ever in Albany, Georgia, go check out Pretoria Fields. All right. They've been around since 2016. Have a nice little tap room and brewery. I plan to visit very soon actually all right look at the pour there guys very nice creamy head creamy tan head nice dark brown appearance with the actual beer i'm not seeing any sediment it looks pretty clear when you hold it up to the light but it's definitely a nice brown appearance Nice tight bubbles there on the head. Very creamy looking, like I said. The aroma. I'm definitely picking up on the pecans, which is nice. Some toasty, you know, toasted bread notes. A little caramel. Maybe a little bit of like an earthy hop note on the aroma as well. It smells delightful. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers, guys. Really nice. You're picking up on the pecans. Some nice caramel sweetness. A nice toasted bread note in the middle of the sip. There's a little bit of bitterness on the finish to kind of balance it out. It is 28 IBUs, but it's not a bitter beer. It's just there's enough bitterness on the finish to balance out the malt for presentation that you're getting with this one. 5.4% alcohol, very low, nice sessionable brew. The body is light, almost medium. This is a brown ale, so obviously it's going to be a little bit heavier than your standard lager. But um, it's easy drinking, smooth. You could you could drink a few of these, no problem. Yeah, that earthy hop character is coming through on the finish. This is a really nice beer, man. The lacing. Is very nice as well. Nice glass lacing left behind. This is a winner, guys. If you can get Pretoria Fields Collective beers in your area, definitely worth checking out. Really, really good stuff. This is my favorite one so far that I've had. Um, I've got a lot more to try. But uh, this is right up my alley. I love malt forward beers. That's exactly what I'm getting with this. The, um, the nuttiness, the, the character that I'm getting from the pecans is really nice. And that nice caramel sweetness and that those nice toasty bread notes in the middle really just make this an all-around winner for me. Uh, it's definitely a solid A. I would highly recommend it if you like brown ales, if you like more malt forward beers. This is one to go for. If you're looking for something a little bit more bitter or more into the pale ale IPA category, you know, if that's your thing, then this might not be for you. But it does have that nice earthy hop character. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a bitterness, 
but it does have some hot character. Um, and then I guess a little slight bitterness. 28 IBUs is, is enough to where you're getting some bitterness on the finish, but it just balances out that malt for presentation that you're getting with this beer. Uh, I'm going to give this beer a 96 out of 100. It is a solid A getting up there. One of the better brown ales that I've actually had in a while. Uh, it reminds me of a kind of a souped up Newcastle. Because new can not the new Newcastle, but the old one. <laughs> they they Lagunitas makes Newcastle now, and they've changed the recipe a little bit, uh, and you don't get those nutty notes as much with the new one, or at least I don't find that you do. This uh, definitely has those nice nutty pecan notes. Uh, the pecan is definitely not lost in this beer. It's coming through very nicely, and you know what I said, caramel sweetness. Maybe a little bit of honey sweetness as well, because it does say on the label, finished on honey. So that's very interesting. Um, probably some good local Georgia honey that they're using. Uh, but yes, yeah, some nice sweetness, great malt character, and excellent beer, guys. So 96 out of 100 for the Pretoria Fields Collective Brown Thrasher Brown Ale. It is a seasonal release, um, so get it while you can. That'll do it for this beer review, guys. Thanks again to Tom Vess and Pretoria Fields for sending me some great beers to try. Uh, this one is a solid A. Uh, I said I was going to give honest reviews for all the beers that they sent me, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if they sent me some uh, duds, well, that's how they're going to get rated. But this one is definitely not a dud. So 96 out of 100. Hope you guys are all having a great day. I will post a link for the Pretoria Fields website down in the description below if you want to check them out. Um, and until next time, everybody, cheers.